Hi, I'm Mr. Levier. I'm back at Big L's Aquarium Superstore. We're going to look at some reptiles today. Uh, very cool reptiles. Oh my goodness, they have a big selection here. And we have Marlin Like a Fish right here, our special, special host. Hi there, my name is Marlin Like the Fish. Today we're going to be talking about reptiles. A reptile is any cold-blooded vertebrate comprising the turtles, snakes, lizards, and crocodilians. So what do we have here, uh, Marlon? So these are the very popular bearded dragons. Uh, these are babies, they're roughly maybe three months old. Wow. And they're pretty social. Uh, usually they come in a brown color, but over the years people have bred them into different colors. Now the red ones are starting to become popular. Uh, I've heard even some are developing blue ones, uh, but we probably won't see those for a long time. But bearded dragons are very popular. Lizards, they're, they're great beginner pets. Uh, they love to eat greens and uh, fruits, and they also love insects. They love chewing on worms and chasing crickets. Uh, these guys get about two feet fully grown. Uh, their body gets about a foot and then their tail extends another foot fully grown. So typically when you have one in a terrarium, you're looking at about a 100, 120 gallon terrarium with a nice heat lamp and some UV light to help them grow their bones. And most of the time they like to just uh, relax on some wood and uh, stay under the heat lamp just to stay warm. Uh, and then when they're warm, as you can see, they like to jump around and move around. Uh, and it also helps with their digestion, the heat. Uh, they're very, very social animals. Uh, you can, some people will even put little leashes on them and take them for a walk in the oh, summer. Oh my God. Uh, or leave them on their shoulder. Or uh, they're even fun to cuddle if you, if you just want to sit on your couch and watch a movie and you can leave one on your, uh, on your chest and they'll just fall asleep on you. Um, so they're very interactive pets. Uh, very easy to take care of and they live roughly 15 to 20 years. So almost as long as a cat. Just scaly. He looks like he wants to... Uh... He's looking at his reflection in the camera. I think he does. And today we're going to be talking about ball pythons. Uh, it's a, to me, it's a really beginner uh, snake to keep. They're very easy to, to take care of. And as you can see, this ball python is in a, in a ball. And they typically do that when they're nervous um, and they're not comfortable. This guy just came to us about a week ago, so he's still getting used to us. Um, this, he's about maybe about a foot and a half long and he'll, and over time with good feeding he's going to get somewhere between four to six feet. Uh, six feet would be a really large one, four to five feet would be average size. And this one's called a clown morph just because of the way the uh, spots are developed on his skin. And you can see him sticking out his tongue trying to get some uh, chemical signatures. And if you look close in the, uh, just above his tongue, you'll see these heat pits, these little holes. And uh, he can actually sense where heat is coming from. So that's typically how they hunt. Uh, so in the trade, we don't really let them hunt. We actually have frozen uh, rats that have been uh, properly euthanized. And so what we do is we, we thaw them out. And then about once a week when they're uh, a, a few months old, we feed them once a week with a thawed rat. Um, Can I hold him? Yeah, of course. Oh wow, he's light, actually. It, yeah. And it's uh, it's to the point now that th th we've developed so many different colors. Uh, I can pull out the albino, uh, which is very, very stunning looking. It's probably the best looking one. Uh, but they come in a wide range of colors, and they all have the same uh, behavior, but... So you know, I can just talk. Yeah, for sure. Wow, look at you. So You're a beautiful snake. Yes, you are. Very friendly. Oh, wow. Look at this. Albino. So, yeah, you can see the uh, we, uh, breeders are able to produce albino variants. So you can see the pink ruby eyes, the white skin, and the yellow patches. Uh, typically, we usually just throw them around our necks, and it's kind of like a nice warm scarf. So uh, he's very friendly. He actually feels very cool to the touch, so he's actually gonna like tighten up on my neck to absorb as much heat as possible. Uh, and it, it makes him warm and it, and it keeps me cool because his body's on the cool side. So it makes for an interesting scarf. Now you know if you have that scarf, you could use the ball python for a hat. 
I, I guess so, <laughs> yeah. I'll have the full set, yeah, for sure. Maybe, buddy. You want to go on my neck? There you go. There you go. Whoa, this is cool. How does it feel? Feels cool. It is, it is nice and cool. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is awesome. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness, this is nice. So they typically have two types of bites. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm telling you this as you put it around your neck, but uh, typically one bite is he'll, he'll bite and let go and that's typically leave me alone. The second type of bite is he'll, he'll bite and he'll coil. If he's coiling, that means he wants to eat you. But typically, you're, you're obviously we're much larger. He's, we're too big for him to eat. Uh, yeah, this is good to know before <laughs> I put it around my neck. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. So here we have some uh, pink-bellied side neck turtles. Uh, now these guys are pretty interesting because they're a primitive form of turtle. So instead of retracting their head inside their body, they'll actually put it sideways. Uh, and so this was a form of defense if something was trying to eat them uh, and they would just uh, retract it to the side of their neck. Uh, these guys are omnivores so they like to eat a variety of plants, insects, and any sort of meat they can get their hands on like fish or snails or they'll eat little frogs as they get bigger and as they get older they tend to have pink bellies. So here we have Sengal chameleons and uh, these guys are pretty cool because they have a harpoon for a tongue and uh, they like to harpoon their prey or insects that they catch and uh, they have some funny paws and that's going to help them climb and attach themselves to branches uh, and these guys are roughly about uh, three months old the full size you're looking at like maybe about a 10 inch animal uh, with vibrant colors and they're going to be able to change their colors depending on their mood and the environment. Uh, the males, for whatever reason, typically are more brighter. Uh, the females won't get as bright. It's one of the longest reptiles to, to hatch out of an egg. I've read that it takes anywhere between 90 to 120 days for the babies to actually uh, crack open and, and pop out of the egg. Oh my goodness. Um, and if you look at their eyes, they can look at two different things at the same time. They'd make good teachers. Uh, yeah, you keep uh, eyes on all your students. And uh, they're very similar to pufferfish. Pufferfish also do the same. They have, uh, they're able to look at two different things. Uh, but the chameleons also have that ability. Uh, they're excellent climbers. <laughs> very adorable pets. Uh, not really something you can handle too often, but uh, with socializing and daily uh, routines, they can be, uh, they can get used to you. Uh, this one's actually rather easy and tame. Uh, so that's really a good sign. He will, he will sell really quickly. Yeah, because he's very social. I love the way they walk. They walk so slowly. Yeah. Look at you going. Oh my goodness. These are such interesting animals. They have an interesting method of drinking water, so they don't just go to a little puddle of water and drink. Uh, so in in the forest, you'll you'll see leaves that are dripping and they'll actually seek those dripping leaves and, and uh, for whatever reason they like the drops uh, so with the fogger that we have hooked up it'll actually drip at certain points and uh, the chameleons actually seek out those little spots to take a drink of water. Do you think we might be able to try to feed it? Do you think it would work? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get some bugs. Oh, I love the way you curl up your tail. That is so awesome. Look at you, you're beautiful. Look at you. So I don't know if he's gonna feed on your hand, but we can try. Wow, let's see what happens. Lunch time. Is he hungry? I think he's interested. Is there something there that might interest you? Yep. He's going for it. that on slow-mo. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I 
That was good, wasn't it? Want one more? Come on, you want dessert. Come on. I know you want dessert. Yes, you do. You want dessert. They're yummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that face. He's really enjoying that. Oh, aren't you cute? Look at you. Must be hard to swallow. <laughs> There's his buddy behind him. You can see the little bobbing. <laughs> Look at that face. 